wanted to go ahead and show this to you. Um, this come from Bob Wells Nursery in Texas. This makes the second or third tree that I've ordered from them. And these things come packaged so nice compared to other companies that I've ordered from. Look how they've got the bottom of this sealed up. Now this was actually shipped out on Thursday and it was supposed to have been here for a Sunday delivery um, by FedEx. And it's actually Tuesday evening at like almost 8, 8 p.m. And it just got here. So after being in, you know, basically a cardboard box for five or six days, that's what it looks like. Now this is the other one that I ordered from them. This is the Dolgo Apple. And they always trim it so you've got you know, the, the limbs aren't very long. So they trim the limbs down, the leaves, because if you don't have a lot of foliage, then you have a better chance of surviving. The trees are always thick. I mean, there's my thumb. That's the Dolgo apple. And then this is the one that I just got. You know, so they're, they're two, three-year-old trees. This is the Cotton Candy Aprium. It's for Zone 6. And I'm in 6B, but we always get a late frost. And I'm going to uh, grow this in a container and then uh, keep it protected. At least the first year. Um, you know, I'll, I'll see how it does this winter into spring. And, uh... You know, it seems like every year it gets warmer and warmer. And uh, maybe I could leave it out in the ground. But uh, for this first year, I'm going to leave it in a pot. So i got to get a bigger pot for this one. Uh, these other ones, all these other ones, most of these other ones you see here, actually still need to be planted. Um, all of these are going to stay in the pots uh, till next spring. And just hope and pray I can keep them alive that long. These are mostly one-year-old trees, various kinds. This one's going to get planted in the orchard expansion that I'm doing. This is going to get planted in the orchard expansion that I'm doing. This is going to get planted in the orchard expansion that I'm doing. All of these smaller four-inch pots are all getting planted in the orchard expansion I'm doing. Then the fig, the banana, the key lime, the Meyer lemon, and that banana up there will all stay in pots along with the new uh, aprium. But I just wanted to give a shout out like Bob Wells Nursery. He sells a lot of trees on Amazon. That's actually how I found out about him. And this doggo apple is the first tree I ordered from him and I was so impressed at how well the shipping was when they shipped it and the shape that it was in when it arrived is why I bought this tree from him now it's even funnier how I ended up with three crab apples because this crab apple which is a sergeant was supposed to have been a doggo from a different seller on Amazon they sent me a sergeant and then I ordered uh, this profusion from a different company in Florida. And it's doing pretty good already. It's got a few new starts on it. The red tips there are new places that's starting to grow just since it arrived. Um, the other tree I got in Florida was this Georgia Bell Peach. That soil looks a lot browner in this video than it actually really is in person. And I kind of noticed that on that one too. Um, they're not that brown. But um, so the, the company that was in Florida, I would order from them too again. The the one thing that's different, look how long the branches are. And see, they, they, they didn't really trim the branches down. This tree wasn't in that bad of shape. This tree right here, I had to go... You can see where I pruned all the tips of these branches after it arrived. Because most of the branches that was on this peach tree, even though they were two and three feet long, they were just, they were crammed into a box and broken. But the trees are still in decent shape. I would probably still order from the company in Florida. 
I can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but definitely Bob Wells Nursery. I'm going to start doing much more business with you. Um, I, I definitely like the, you know, how, how healthy your trees are, the size of them when they come in. And, uh, that's, that's kind of, uh, you know, what I wanted to say is that, uh, if you're looking to buy trees, definitely look up Bob Wells nursery. He does have an online webpage. Um, I believe two trees he'll ship for, don't quote me on this because I'm going off the top of my head. If you order it by Amazon, it's like $39.50 shipping per tree. If you order at his website, he allows two trees for the $39.50 shipping. So, you know, it's a little different than some places that do free shipping. You know, they might offer free shipping. I don't know, but I basically ordered um, both trees from Amazon. I was looking for an Aprium that was Zone 6 compatible. And uh, this one supposedly is cotton candy aprium. Um, so I'm hoping that if I do decide to plant it in the ground, it'll be okay. But at least for the first year, I'm going to keep it in a pot. I've got a bigger pot for it coming. Matter of fact, like that size pot over there. 15 gallons, I think they are. The, yeah, 15 gallon pots. So uh, that's all I wanted to tell you. Sorry this video is so long. Just me standing here talking about trees. I got so much stuff to get done. I still got to finish up the, oh wait, I should show you guys that stuff. Hold on just a minute. So I'm still working on the spiral herb garden, but I added a couple more rows of blocks and I think that it looks so much better now. So I've got one, I think there's nine rows to give me 36 inches at the center. And it looks way better. You know, I think when I first did it, I only had like the first one, two, three, four, the first five rows. And I added uh, four more. And I think it just kind of leveled it out. But I've got another surprise that's going to go along with this. I just got to get it done. And hopefully the what's in the um, wheelbarrow doesn't give it away. <laughs> 